Welcome to this session. It's been a good long time since I did the last one, and I hope you haven't totally forgotten me. In any case, I haven't, and I believe I have some interesting things to report to you. you if you're familiar with my previous sessions, you do know that about January of 2010, that is uh, more than two years ago, my kidneys failed in a really disastrous way. I ended up in the hospital and I ended up in dialysis. Well, to make a long story short, I'm still in dialysis. However, just by looking at me, it gets, it's pretty obvious that I'm a whole lot healthier now than I was then. And it's rather funny because to the people that I know in the dialysis clinic here, and believe me, I know them pretty well by now, three times a week, every week, we see each other. I see them come in in wheelchairs. I see them come in with a walker. I see them getting progressively weaker. I see them being unable to sleep at night. The variety, I see them unable to talk. I, I'm seeing a variety of complaints that Folks, I'm not a medical person and I'm not a doctor. This boggles the mind. It is. It's, it's horrendous. But in any case, when the doctor comes by to tell me, if they ask me what's going on, uh, I tell them about what happened on the tennis court the night before. And, for example, today I had a little extra time and I went out and I did a tennis workout for about, oh, it was pretty close to 40 minutes. In addition, we have started, my wife and I both, not just me, have started to do weightlifting, in which these weights are maybe 70 or 80 percent the weight of that we our maximum ability to lift it, and we have found that we do this maybe once every 10 days or 7 days. And I have started doing it twice a week. She's not up to that yet. And maybe if you're used to seeing what I look like on these things, you can see that I'm standing straighter, that my build is more solid. And, in fact, that my complexion is good, perhaps better than it has been in the past. Anybody looking at me would say I was good and healthy. Well, then, why am I still in dialysis? The reason is very simple. Once a month, the kidney center does a blood test. They take my blood, a sample of it, send it off to a lab, and they look for evidence of kidney problems. Every month, they find it. The results are quite stable. There are two numbers in there that show this. One is creatinine, and the other is BUN capital B, capital U, capital N. You can look both these up on the internet if you want to. Both of them, when are too high, are an indication of kidney, major kidney issues. And mine are. And they have stayed that way for more than two years now. Now I will say that when I was worse, the other numbers there are there must be 70 or 80 of them or worse also now all of those numbers are just fine except for these two 
And it turns out there's one additional number which, if you look for it, shows that my thyroid is not doing very well. Now, how is it that I can apparently continue to improve my health, and yet these numbers continue to fail? One of the keys, I think, to an answer to this is that creatinine itself, and perhaps the other number, are a waste product produced by exercise, muscle activity. And Lord knows if I'm lifting extremely heavy weights, what else is it? It's muscle activity. Sure it is. And as time goes on, I progress very nicely in these things. Here's another example. My tennis club allows us to play for an hour and 15 minutes when we play somebody else. And my experience has been that when I play that time, at the end, I am chipper, I'm alert, I'm not the least bit tired, I could happily go on for another hour or so. But every one of my opponents is really tired. Now I admit I'm not playing people in their 20s. I'm 71, I'll be 72 in August. And generally the people I'm playing are in their, well, mid 50s or 60s. They're certainly not my age. And they're all really tired. They're glad to finish. In fact, often we finish early because they are too tired. Why are they feeling tired? Could it be that they have produced so much waste product that their kidneys are expressing concern about not being able to dispose of it well? Well, in my case, the kidneys obviously are not disposing of it well. The next day, I go into dialysis, and guess what? It's all gone. But if I did not go into dialysis and produce that much waste product, I would be in real trouble. Now, are we adding up 2 plus 2 and getting 3? Somehow there must be some way of making sense from this. Here is my suggestion. Yes, there is something major wrong with my kidneys. Both of them. They are not processing this creatinine and BUN properly. The numbers shown are correct. And the body is deliberately allowing me, and in fact rather enjoying, the situation in which I am creating an amount of waste product which would essentially kill me if I were not in dialysis. So, and the numbers show that I need to be in dialysis. Nobody questions that. Is it possible the body is doing this for a purpose? Is it possible that when that evidence shows up over and over and over again, every time I get out and hit that ball and exercise and lift those weights, is it possible that every time I do that, 
the body receives signals which cause it to ask, why am I not able to process this waste? And cause it to look for ways to eliminate these infections. That is my guess. Now, so far, I haven't figured out how. I've figured out a number of other things, and presumably it might eventually be possible for me to figure this one out too. I will say I'm working on it. But I have a suspicion that I'm in a funny predicament, which I actually rather enjoy, of apparently being able to work harder as a result of the dialysis. And maybe the net result of this is that I, it will help me more easily find a cure for the kidney problems. I'm finding this rather interesting. It's at least helping me feel as though I can make sense of this predicament. It's an interesting situation and perhaps there's a little more I can say about it. Consistently there have been voices coming from my body talking about how terrible dialysis is, how much I hate it, how much I want to be finished with it, how much I want to quit it. It's really clear that if I did quit it, it would be really, really dangerous, terrible, terrible for me to be doing any of this stuff with physical activity. I would have to completely stop become passive, become helpless, maybe join that other crew that are running around in wheelchair. I don't know that I'd be that far, but I certainly couldn't do the tennis that I'm doing, nor could I do the weightlifting. And I love what it's doing with my body. Where are those voices coming from? My guess is they're coming from the parasites in the kidneys and that suggests to me that I'm right. If they are so intent on getting rid of the physical activity, they must have a reason for wanting me to get rid of it. And that very likely is exactly the reason I want to continue doing it. They say physical activity extends your life. In this case, it might be playing a role in saving my kidneys. Good to talk to you. I'll see you next time.